<laughs> well, it may not feel like it, but we are now technically also in hurricane season mm. for the oh. Atlantic. Yes, okay. And to give us some perspective on the force of the winds, the University of Maryland opened up their high-powered wind tunnel to us. WSNI's Matt Gregory went in, he tested it out. He joins us in the so studio fun. this morning to show us how it all went. Hey guys, I've covered a few hurricanes, at least what I thought were hurricanes at the time, pretty heavy winds. But after this tunnel test, I'm not really sure that I've experienced anything like that. Take a look inside the Glen L. Martin wind tunnel at the University of Maryland. It's a large room with this giant propeller that pushes air up to a small chamber where I talked to Dr. Jewel Barlow. That can create speed, wind speeds right here up to 230 miles an hour. Yeah, you heard that right. Relative to hurricanes, what we do is test devices that are exposed to winds up to hurricane speed. But today, that test subject is me. And first, you gotta harness up, then you actually hook in. This is not the smartest thing I've ever done. The large engine starts with an ominous. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> and then you feel the wind. It slowly ramps up. Around 40 miles an hour, those harnesses start to come in handy. I was in tropical storm speed winds. So I said faster. It gets up to 70 miles an hour. This is now category one hurricane force winds. Faster, I said. As it passed 80 miles an hour, I couldn't hold my feet. And by 90 miles an hour, my face started to flap in the breeze. The tunnel moved into a category two hurricane. And when it finally got to 100 miles an hour, I had enough. Woo! Apparently everyone has the same reaction. Dr. Barlow says there's only one thing that varies. At what wind speed your ears start flapping like a flag? <laughs> 100 miles an hour. I think if I let go, that would have maybe fly off from right there. <laughs> No, what I've learned, apparently I've only covered tropical storms. Hurricane season, like Jan was saying earlier, runs through October, and we really don't see the worst of it until mm. usually the end of summer. Back to you.